All right, welcome to Strength Flow. Uh, today's workout is a little bit of follow the leader with a nice finisher at your own pace. So if you really had a good weekend, nice restful weekend, you really want to hit it hard today, you have that opportunity. First half of class is going to be a little bit of follow the leader, so we work some tension building today. All right, but for right now, we're just going to work some trunk rotations. Y'all know I like starting off with these. If you're just coming out of or off of your desk chair, take it slow. But if you're feeling pretty good, maybe you just not got equipped, work that rotation as far as you like. Let those arms swing as long as nobody or nothing is too close to your body. All right. Let's slow it on down. Let's take that right foot back. We're just a little bit of a step back, not giant. All right, we're going to try to squeeze that right glute, extend through that right hip, and we're going to take that right hand across the body, deep stretch, and inhale, bring it back down, exhale, back across, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. All right, let's switch it out. Left foot steps on back. Squeeze that left glute, try to shift that right hip. Make sure you feel a little bit of that stretch in that hip flexor first. And as you extend through, reach out left arm across and exhale. Inhale back down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. All right, take a nice big old stance for me. Maybe we'll turn those toes out a little bit, especially if you're feeling tight like I am on a Monday. Let's pull down to that left side, as low as you can go, shifting over to that right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. right. Last time left, last time right, stand tall. All right, I know we, a lot of us get bored off wrist mobility, but you're going to need it today. Let's take it on down to the ground. The majority of your weight stays in the knees. You're going to turn your fingers towards you, palms to the ground, press the palm all the way to the floor. If it's too much for you, turn those fingers out a little bit. But if you can, fingers are turned right towards those kneecaps and rock back. Exhale. And forward, back, forward, back, last time, forward, this time you can let the heel of the palm pull just a little bit if you can handle it, and forward, just for a quick second, once you take the top of that right hand onto the floor, you get the majority of your weights in your knees, top of that right hand is on the floor, all right, that's enough for you. You feel that deep stretch in the forearm. Just stay like that. All right, but if you can, let's pin down that right hand. Just get a good two strong external rotations in that right arm, a.k.a. turn your elbow crease forward. Nice wrist pin. And relax. One more. Wonderful. Okay, the majority of weights in your knees. Left side. Pin it down if you can. Rotate. Relax, rotate, relax, take it back up top. All right, so if anybody just jumped on, you're not here to say at the beginning of class, you're going to follow the leader for the first half, cut loose on the back half. So let's jump right into this. Find your comfortable squat position, and as first squat, once you reach those hands to the ground, you pull one down. Right hand reaches to the sky, eyes are on right hand, right hand comes down, left hand. Y'all know this one well. Back down, stand tall. Pull back down. Right hand. Left hand. Down, tall. Inhale as we work side to side. Back down. Right hand. Exhale. Switch. And tall. Two more. Pull down. Right hand. Left hand. And tall. One more. Down. 
right hand, left hand, and tall. Wonderful. All right. Let's take it down to a beast position. If you have no idea what that is, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and now let's get those knees off the ground. This is your beast position. Take that right hand to your left shoulder. Hold. And switch. 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 And then back to your beast. Now give me a quick check. Did your hands find the center? If they did, get them back out of shoulders width. Right hand, left shoulder. Switch. 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 Beast. Drop knees. Wonderful. All right. We're going to go right into a lever push up. It's always easier for me to show my hands like this if you can see them. But as I to turn your hand out, this means turn your hand out. All right? So let's start off in a pretty strict push up position. You can certainly be on your knees. I want you to turn that left hand out, pull the body down. And then press back up top. Switch. Right hand turns out. Pull down. Press. Switch. Left hand. Pull down. Press. Right hand. Pull down. Press. You're dropping knees. will look a little something like this. Left hand turns out. Pull down. Press. Right hand. Pull down. Press. Four more. Make them count. Left side. Pull down. Press. Right side. Down. Press. Last time. Left. Down. Press. Right. Down. Press. Wonderful. All right. That's our first of two rounds of our buy-in series. Still follow the leader. Back to your comfortable squat position. Now you can pull those hands in that body if you like as you pull down that bottom position. Right hand in the sky. Down. Left hand. Down. Tall. Pull down. Right hand. Down. Left. Down. Tall. Three more. You're done with these for the day. Squat. Right hand. Down. Left hand. Down. Tall. Point down. Right. Switch. Left. Down. Tall. Let's go one more. Squat. Right. Left. Down and tall. Woo. All right. Say sorry to those shoulders. Back to our beast position, please. Right hand, left shoulder. Switch. 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 Beast. Check those hands. Right hand, left shoulder. Switch. 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 And drop knees. One quick chest expansion. Going back to that lever push up again. Knees are a wonderful option for this one. If that's still too challenging, give me traditional push ups even on the knees. I right, begin, you're on that lever push up. Push up position. Left hand turns out. Down. Press. Right hand. Down. Press. Left hand. Down. Press. Right hand. Down. Press. Left. Down. Press. Five more. Right hand. Down. Press. Left. Down. Press. Right. Down. Press. Last two. Left. Down. Press. Right. Down. Press. Woo! All right. Halfway through class, we're done with our follow leader. We're going to move on to a time, uh, or a time workout here. We have three main movements. The three movements we just did, imagine they just got trained in monsters. So those are just to get us primed. All right, our first one's going to be a sprawl with a sit back with a plyo squat. So quick visual what this looks like. All right, you're going to sprawl down, sit back, jump forward, jump, 
Reset, and then scroll again. All right, so let's find our athletic position. Pull down, sit back, jump forward, jump up, reset. Scroll, sit back, feet come up, jump, reset, hands come down, sit back. Of course, slow this down, work through this at your pace. The best part to reset is after your jump. Take that quick breather if you need it. Back down, strong sit back, back forward, jump. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Woo! All right, big breaths. All right, so we all know our down dog. We're going to drive those hips to the sky out of the plank position. We're going to sneak in an ankle grab. Your pace. Plank position. Drive those hips back. Left hand, right ankle. Plank. Right hand, left ankle. Plank. We've worked these before. If you want to work a little bit slower, you can hear more from mobility over intensity. Then you can pause, look under and through the arm. Really open up that lateral line. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right. On this next one, you're probably going to follow me on the first rep, unless you were here last week. If you weren't here last week, you definitely need to follow me. If you were here, you'll recognize that we're doing pretty quick. Something we worked a lot of last Monday. Find your plank position. Left foot comes up. All right, my left foot's now up. Now I'm going to open up my chest to my right and stand tall. Woo, how did I get there? And then drop down to that right heel. Lateral lunge or Kazakh squat. Tall. Back inside that left foot. Left foot comes back, push up, right foot, tall, dropping down left heel, back inside of that right foot, push up, your pace, Ooh, almost doing a sit back, I'm so used to the sit backs on this combination, I almost cheated on my own workout, push up, and then relax. Ooh. All right. Good news. We're through round one of our second wide, our second block. Go back to our sprawl, sit back with our jump. Deep breath. Hands come down, sit back. Feet come up, jump, reset. Find your appropriate intensity. To go and work for these 45 seconds, my jump has gotten really, really short between this and equipped. Legs are getting gassed. So I've got to find that appropriate intensity. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, relax. All right, big breaths. Our down dog with our angle grab coming back up. You need to swing and slow things down a little bit. Plank position. Drive kicks up and back. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Breathe. Strong through those fingertips. You're not just going dead weight on the palm. You're not treating your wrist like that. You're using those muscles to help support that wrist. Four, three, two, and relax. All right, we've got our mountain climber to our Kazakh squat with our push-up and our transition. 
So don't go too far from that kneeling position. Plank, left foot, open up that chest, pull down, right side, tall. Left foot comes back, don't forget that push up. Drop to the knees if you need it, then the right foot comes up. Back inside, right foot, push up again. Left foot, open up that chest, drop down that right side. Back inside your left, push up. Right foot. Again, if you're working at a different pace, that's fine. Just set a little bit of a tempo. Five seconds. And relax. Cheating on that one. Didn't finish my first rep, my fifth rep. All right, it's our last round. The question is, I was going to do three rounds with y'all today, but. I feel like the arm's higher. So, let's do it. Find your athletic position. Hands to the floor. Sit back. Jump. Reset. Sprawl. Sit back. Jump. Reset. About 15 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Ooh, feeling it, y'all. All right, going to that down dog with that ankle grab. Again, this is, a, this is a place where you can slow it down, work some mobility back in, plank position. Drive back, off the hand, off the foot. Look at that exhale on that grab. Working that inhale every time you come to that plank, find your rhythm. squat or a lateral lunge. Don't forget that push-up. All right, let's finish it up here. Plank position. Left foot comes up. Open up that chest. Drop it down right side. Be in control. Push up as you switch sides. Right foot. Dropping down left. Back inside the right. Don't forget that push-up. Unless you are absolutely gassed and that push-up is what's limiting your entire movement, try to keep it. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Saddle sit. Head is tall, chest is open. Breathe through that belly. Don't hold that gut anymore. Let it fill up with air. Exhale. Let your body know it's done. Couple deep breaths. I don't know about y'all, but I thought today was pretty tough. I, I like that slower body. It's the first time we've done a mixture of both. Usually we either pick one modality or the other. You either follow me. Or I set a time. Maybe do a little 50 50. I liked it. Y'all let me know after class what you think. And uh, always looking to improve. All right. Let's come over to a seated position. Legs out in front, heels on the ground, toes pulled up. Just give me a couple of shin boxes just to get the hips loosened back up. Dropping those knees side to side.
If your heart rates through the roof, I don't want you dropping all the way to a fold. You can always stay upright a little bit. Let's say the knees off to the left. If your heart rate's still up really high, keep that left arm straight and just reach that right hand. But if your heart rate's pretty under control, you can drop that left forearm, reach that right hand overhead, breathe. Use your breath to challenge the stretch. Inhale, feel everything open. Exhale as you sink into it. If you enjoy that stretch, stay there a little longer. For time's sake, I'm going to switch outside, pivot around just a little bit for camera reasons. So you can stay where you're at, of course. Right forearm, taking that left hand overhead. If you're enjoying that stretch, stay there again as long as you would like. For time reasons, that is it for me today. Thank you all very much for joining me. Again, this month we are focused on mental and behavioral health. Uh, if you haven't already checked out LenovoBenefits.com, there's some great resources on there. The Mindset Reset. Follow us at Lenovo Fitness. Uh, you'll see me and myself and this uh, cute little kid that runs around my house sometimes working on some push-ups. Um, so uh, anyways, have a wonderful evening. As always, thanks for joining me. Good work.